You all now know that the Louisiana Purchase doubled the size of the United States, and now we're going to learn about what happened next. So, the United States owned the Louisiana Purchase now, but few Americans knew anything about the territory and beyond. In 1803, Congress provided money for a team of explorers to study the new lands. This team was called the Corps of Discovery, and the leaders were named Lewis and Clark. You probably recognize those names. The expedition had three main goals. One, to find a water route to the Pacific coast and create a map of the route. Two, to study the climate, wildlife, and natural resources. And three, to learn about the indigenous nations. So what should they pack? That's what we're going to try and figure out. They had no maps, no directions. They didn't know what they were going to find, and they didn't really know how to prepare. So your job is to read each question about what they needed to pack, and then you're going to choose an answer about what you think they decided on. So the first question says, what characteristics did Lewis and Clark look for in hiring a crew for the expedition? A, old friends they enjoy spending time with. Well, that would be nice. You got to get along with your crew. St B, strong adventurous people. Sounds like people I would want to have. C, experienced soldiers. Or D, knowledgeable scientists. Hmm. Well, it seems like I would kind of want to have a friend, an adventurous person, a soldier, and a scientist, so they're all possible, but you're just going to pick one and then write your answer in a complete sentence. So you're going to take the question, kind of turn it into an answer. When The first one's done for you. When hiring crew members for the expedition, Lewis and Clark looked for, hmm, I think I'm going to go with strong adventurous, adventurous people. Okay, so I went with B. And then I'm going to read the next one. Lewis was the first captain of the expedition, and therefore he was responsible for the success of the trip and the safety of the group. How did Lewis prepare for the journey? Okay, if I'm going to turn that question into a sentence, I'm just going to take that part. Lewis uh, prepared for the journey by, and then I can fill in my answer. That way I'm taking the question and using it to make my answer. Lewis prepared for the journey by A, studying astronomy, mathematics, medicine, botany, and navigation. Seems like a good plan. B, running and lifting weights. Hmm, uh, maybe. I don't know if that would help you get across the entire United States, but it might be good for, like, a marathon. C, publicizing the expedition in the newspaper. Well, they probably did that. D, meeting with each person and warning them about the dangers of the trip. I uh, might not want to do that if you want to convince people to go with you. Okay, so... Uh, B and D don't really make sense to me, and C seems true, but I think A seems like the best choice. So I'm going to say studying astronomy, mathematics, medicine, bot botany, and I spelled it wrong, and nav navigation. Okay, so then I took my question and turned it into an answer and included the choice that I made. Then when you've done all 10 questions, it looks long, but it's just 10 questions. Then you can open the other document in the assignment, which is the answer key. What? You're giving us the answers? Yes, I'm giving you the answers because, well, it's online learning. I kind of have to. And so just do this first and then check and see how you did. It's not really about getting it right anyways. So then I can look at the answer key and at least say, okay, I got the first two right. <sighs> Strong adventurous people and studying astronomy. Don't look at the rest of the answer key until you're done. Okay? Okay, have fun.